back with another video for you today and today I'm talking about a new house that I've never spoken about on this channel a new fragrance that has just launched this is a house called Victoria Minya and we're talking about Hedonist Rose Absolute this one right here let me tell you all about Hedonist Rose Absolute and you're gonna have a chance at winning one of three samples here and one of three samples on Instagram. So if you want to find out about this and have your chance at winning a sample if you are a subscriber from the USA, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time tuning into the channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands, and of course participating in giveaways and still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So I have known about this house but never sampled any fragrances up until Hedonist Rose Absolute, a 2019 release currently being sold at Lucky Scent. If you're curious to discover this house, there is a link to Lucky Scent in the info box. Go over there and find out all about this house and or buy samples or fragrances there. But this is a 2019 release. It's considered an oriental floral or perhaps an oriental woody fragrance. The price is $200 for a 60 ml bottle like this. The concentration is EDP Eau de Parfum. So this, uh, a little about the brand, Victoria Minya is a Hungarian born grass France studied and Paris based perfumer. So I had to do a little research to find out about her a little bit because I didn't know who she was or what she had done. And there is a original version of this one and this is the absolute version. Uh, all those fragrances are sold. There's three absolutes now and you can find them all at Lucky Scent. But with this one, there's notes of Turkish rose, oud, amber and sandalwood that's all that's credited with this fragrance and i'm going to tell you what this fragrance is like so this is yet another fragrance that features rose and oud together and i've experienced so many uh fragrances with this particular combo rose and oud work so wonderfully together but this rose is not like other roses that i've experienced here we do have a very jammy and syrupy rose, like intensely jammy and syrupy, but the experience with this particular rose is uh, I get lots of um, candied roses. Um, I don't know if you've ever experienced candied roses, but the experience is almost like a candied rose along with the syrup and the molasses jammy experience. So just imagine candied roses taken and put into a bowl in addition to fresh roses have been added in there as well and then they've been kind of like macerated to become this jam so that's the experience I get with this one so the fragrance starts off slightly animalic you definitely experience the animalic touches at the beginning I think the oud is on the funky animalic variety type but thankfully that doesn't last too long but if you're into animalics uh, try it and see how long it lasts on you. For me, it didn't linger too long. It starts off with it and after about 10 minutes it was gone. And the experience of the animalic uh, part about the oud is uh, not overly animalic, but definitely there's some funk there. You can really, really experience it. And then the fragrance just dries down and dries down and it, it just becomes this combo of a beautiful rose and oud and a little bit of a amber in there as well. But actually, I shouldn't say a little bit of amber. I think the amber touches in this fragrance are pretty big. But what's more bigger in the fragrance or the biggest experience with this fragrance is the rose and oud combo. The amber just adds this nice gooey kind of a cozy experience. And I love me my ambers and this one, it's not an amber fragrance. It's more of a rose and oud fragrance with an amber experience. The fragrance dries down to a wonderful sandalwood, but you still pick up the rose because it's still lingering and you still pick up a little bit of the uh, oud in there but it's mostly the am uh, the amber and the sandalwood just drying down to become a really really gorgeous um, uh, fragrance. Now I want to experience the fragrance house a little more. This is my first um, uh, experience with this fragrance and this was sent to me for this particular review and these are my honest opinions. Uh, and uh, this, that's how I experienced this fragrance. Uh, and uh, now I'm curious to discover some of the other fragrances in the collection and the other absolutes. There's two more absolutes in the collection and they're all available at Lucky Scent, as mentioned. A couple of more things I wanna mention also with the dry down of this fragrance. There are some light caramelly and butterscotchy hints that come through uh, with the experience. So you do experience the um, 
almost almost gourmand, but not quite. Uh, just that experience, it's it's kind of like a not very sweet caramel and butterscotch experience. And throw in some cinnamon as well, because this fragr fragrance experience, I get a lot of cinnamon. There's a lot of like cinnamony uh, accords coming in. It could be cinnamon, maybe it could be nutmeg or cloves, but something very spicy comes through. So it's a balsamic experience. There's lots of smoky touches. The, the smoky touches are coming from the oud. It is sweet, as I said, it's candied roses and also jammy rose to two together to create a, a, a unique experience with the rose and oud combo uh, something that I had not experienced before whereas I've had a lot of jammy rose experiences but this one goes into the candied rose uh, territory and that's why I say it kind of has a little bit of the butterscotchy caramelly like uh, quality or experience with this one very very unique experience a new one for me I'm, I'm willing to explore this uh, house a little further but as I said, check out Lucky Scent to learn a little bit more about Victoria Minya fragrances. And uh, you want to participate in our giveaway for the three samples. All you have to do is put down your favorite Rose and Oud fragrance. What you like about this fragrance, uh, what sounds great about this fragrance. And also please put down your state. And then if you want to participate with the giveaway on Instagram, you can find the link in the info box and head over there to participate to win yourself a sample over there as well. So we have six prizes to give away. And also guys, let me know your thoughts. Have you experienced Victoria Minya before? Are you a fan of this house? Or is this something completely new, brand new to you, and you're interested in learning more about Victoria Minya? Please put a comment down so that I find out. Other than that, guys, thanks so much for watching today. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.